GDP explained with mango trees. In a land full of sunshine and smiles, there are villagers and there are mango trees. If villagers have only one mango tree, mangoes are rare. Mangoes are rare, so mangoes are valuable. But if villagers plant many mango trees, mangoes are everywhere, and suddenly, mangoes are not so special anymore. That's GDP in action. GDP stands for Gross Domestic Product. It means how much stuff, like mangoes, a village makes in a year. More mangoes, more GDP. Less mangoes, less GDP. Simple, right? But wait, we can look at GDP in three ways. Number one, production. Villagers grow mangoes, pick mangoes, sell mangoes. GDP equals all mangoes made this year. Number two, income mangoes. The farmer earns from selling mangoes. The worker earns a wage. The landowner earns rent. All income from mangoes. That's GDP. Number three, spending mangoes. Villagers buy mangoes. The government buys mangoes. Exporters buy mangoes. All that mango spending adds up to GDP. But what if mango prices go up? Let's say a basket of mangoes costs 100 coins in 2023 and 120 coins in 2024. But it's the same basket of mangoes. GDP went up. But did we really grow more? That's called nominal GDP. Now, if we remove the price increase, that gives us real GDP which shows real mango growth. Let's talk GDP per capita. That's mangoes per person. Village A grows 100 mangoes and has 100 people. Each person gets one mango. Village B also grows 100 mangoes, but only has 10 people. Each person gets 10 mangoes. Same GDP, very different lifestyle. That's why we use GDP per capita to compare. But GDP isn't perfect. If a villager helps their grandma for free, GDP doesn't count it. If mango trucks cause pollution, GDP still claps like everything's great. So more mangoes doesn't always mean better life. In the end, GDP tells us how much mango a village makes. But happiness, health, peace, GDP doesn't always say. Still, it's a juicy number. Subscribe for more juicy mango knowledge.